Thanks for keeping it here on Wingstop Inside High School Sports. This offseason's been a tumultuous one, to say the least. Earlier this summer, area football coaches gathered at First Baptist Church of Wiley to listen and help create change in the wake of the tragic death of George Floyd. We have more now in this week's Inside Story. We're coaches, and we have enough power and authority and say so to make a difference. And the answer is yes. The power to make a difference. It's why a group of about 100 North Texas high school football coaches switched out their headsets for masks and seats at social distance, with multiple coaches taking their turn at the pulpit at First Baptist Church in Wiley to discuss social justice. It stated pretty well tonight, is this a, a moment or a movement? And I think it needs to be a movement, Texas High School Coach Association, that we educate and love our kids and become one family. A family of football coaches who gathered at the request of former Wiley High School football coach Bill Howard, who felt the need to take action regarding social injustice and asked community leaders who happened to coach football to be willing to have difficult conversations and to listen to different perspectives. Today was a great opportunity for, for, some, for everybody to let the guard down and not have to worry about uh, being politically correct and being able to have true meaningful dialogue. That dialogue included conversations about a number of topics, including Arlington Sam Houston High School football coach Anthony Chris sharing stories his father, Willie, a former high school football coach, told him about the struggles in the past for black high school football coaches in the state of Texas. See, when they closed down the black school, Anthony Davis, I'm in London, when they closed Anthony Davis, they dispersed us. We had to all go to white school. It was real impactful. It was it was it was needed. Um, I think a lot of a lot of people that were in the audience they really they really felt like uh, you know those those things that were said needed to be heard. And I think a lot of people learned some things as well. Learning and also emphasizing the conversation had by the coaches needs to be carried on from the gathering in Wiley to their programs around North Texas. We have to make sure that we understand the responsibility that we have. And, and if we're not consistent, if we're not persistent, then that resistance will take over. There are some things that have to be said sometimes that make you kind of squirm in your seat. But if everybody remains comfortable, what kind of change you really have? Just like you as a coach, if you're working guys out and you never turn it up, you never change that time on that mile, you never say, you never put any more 45s on that ball, or are you really challenge Because if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Making challenges to create changes with high school football coaches trying to make a difference, listening to different voices and perspectives to learn and then to teach on the sidelines and in the locker rooms in the communities in which they lead. Great stuff there.